Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50 pieces of our hunt through. Looking for the commemorative ones, the ones are more than face value. But ideally we want the one, the only, the one we still need to finish the book. We don't need Kew Gardens, we've got the laughter at Kew Gardens. Um, we also don't need gymnastics, we've got the bungle gymnastics. We are missing Olympic Judo though, but we have all the other ones including uh, wrestling, my bogey coin. The one I can never find until this book, which I seem to be finding tons of. We've got Polo, we've got Newton, we've got the Flopsy Bunny and Peter Rabbits. We also have the newest edition, the Diversity Built Britain 50p, which is a beautiful, beautiful coin. And it's lovely having a new one in circulation. So I did find a whole bunch of sealed bags of those, um, but I didn't add them onto the counters because they were a mix between Brexit and diversity. So um, yes, I wasn't going to fish through uh, five, was it 500 pounds or was it 250? I forget now. However many bags I had, I wasn't going to fish through them all and pick out the ones uh, that were um, diversity to add to the counter. So I hope you <laughs> will um, allow me that. But um, let's see if we can find some adversities in the wild. So without further ado, let's get into this bag. Right then, we'll open the first bag in real time and I'll show you what it is we're looking for. So there we have, whoopsie, a flying Brexit. A uh, Brexit. Britannia. Makers of the br. <laughs> so Britannia's will look for the year 2008, which is the lowest minted year and their keepers in my mind. Our first commemorative is Paddington at the Tower. What's going to be rarer, Tower or Cathedral? I think it's going to be Tower. By the time this video comes up, we may even have mintage figures, although I reckon middle of February is my guess. February 15th, I reckon they're coming out. But there we go. Our first Paddington is our first commemorative. Uh, then we have Shield. So Shield to look for the years 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, and probably 20, because we've not seen any go into circulation for 2020. Um, those are years that were only put into the collector's set, so if it's been busted out, paid in circulation, someone's bought something with it, put it into the bank, um, there's a chance you can find ones that were NIFCs, not intended for circulation. It doesn't happen too often, but once in the blue moon, one does turn up. There are some commemorative designs as well, which are not intended for circulation too, which would be absolutely lovely to find. Nothing else in that first bag, so not, hopefully not a sign of things to come, but without further ado, we'll speed up until we find something. Well, there we go breaking that dry streak it's a Christopher Ironside it's very common but I keep track of them and I do keep them because I'm a silly silly person and it shares my name so it goes into my collection there we have Benjamin Bunny, Benjamin Binny, Rodney Rabbit whatever you want to call him the most common commemorative 50p you will find in your change in your hunts There's another Benjamin Bunny. We need to pick up on the fines. We're not getting much, are we? Speaking of which, there is the representation of the People Act. Again, it's a very common design. You'll see lots of, but I think it's a cool design, so I like finding that one. Ooh, territory find. Jersey. The Grotznet Castle? I can't remember what it's called. Um, but there's a couple of lower minted years of this one. 2009, Year of the Kew Gardens. I've no idea whether that's a rare year for this or not. Uh, I can never recall with the Jersey coins. But any territory finders are welcome to find it in one of my videos um, because you shouldn't be finding territory coins in your mainland UK change. So it adds a bit of 
excitement and a bit of variability to the hunts. Well, there we go. Benjamin Bunny again. Get him on the counter. There we go. Public libraries there. Another very common one that you'll find an awful lot of. Oh, we've got one straight on the top of the bag here. Dictionary, another very common coin. Oh, Sherlock Holmes. So again, one as of recording, we don't know the mintage figures for, but I do track them on the counters. Very cool. Ooh, that's a nice one. 2018's Peter Rabbit. He's good, but he's no Flopsy Bunny. But um, always tough to find one of these. A very cute design. The whole 2018 Beatrix Potter set, in my opinion, is the best a year of the Beatrix Potters. Um, I think they have beautiful, beautiful coins. Um, my absolute favourite is the Mrs. Tittlemouse, though. But Peter Rabbit is a corker of a find. Ooh, speaking of corkers of a find, Olympic shooting. Sadly, not the Olympic we are still looking for, but you can never complain about finding an Olympic. Uh, they are getting so, so scared. I think I'm averaging over the course of the filling this book, one per episode. So one in 250 pounds. So was that one in 500 coins I'm finding our Olympics. So um, pretty good odds, if you ask me. Uh, that's not too bad. Obviously, there's the odd episode where we find none. There's the odd episode where we find three or four. Uh, but uh, no, that is a beauty of a find. I can't grumble now. There's Dictionary again. Dictionary the second. Peace, prosperity, and pepperonis maketh the breakfast 50p. Oh, and there's Girl Guiding too. So two in a row, can we make it three? Maybe. Nope. There's our second pattern to the tower. That's the one you want to find more of. They're going to be scarce, so you will know it. Team Tower. Oh, that's a 2008 Britannia too. Another keeper, we'll pop that over there with the territory find. Oh, we've got one to start this bag off as well there. Victoria Cross, the medals. Again, fairly common coin to find. We won't grumble at finding that. And there's another 2017. It's Tom Kitten, my favourite from this year of uh, the Beatrix Potters. He has got crazy eyes though, but um, he's lovable and he's a cat and I like cats, so very nice. Oh, 
Ooh, this is a 2016 Beatrix Potter. We've got one from each year of the circulating Beatrix Potters now, at least. Uh, the Beatrix Potter Anniversary. Again, slightly over face value. Nothing worth writing home about. The Puddle Duck is the most valuable from 2016. And Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, the only one that's still face value. But lovely stuff. Victoria Cross, heroic acts there. The second the Victoria, the second of the Victoria Cross coins. Very nice. Oh dear. See if the lighting can grab it, because in person that's got a cool sort of oil slickiness to it. This is the uh, Technicolor Dream Dictionary. Very cool. It looks a lot, um, a lot more colourful in person, I assure you. But uh, there we go. Maybe one for the oddities. We have Paddington at the Cathedral, Paddington at the Magnanimity, if you will, indulge. It's 2-1 to the tower though, plenty of bags still to go for the uh, Cathedral's take up, which inevitably it will. There we go. It's 2 all. It's all to play for. Scores on the doors, 2 all. tower versus Cathedral. Let's see. The Cathedral take the lead. There's another Benjamin Bunny. And there's another Sherlock Holmes. Crumbs. Loads of coins to the counters today. There's another dictionary. That's a much nicer quality one though. Three two to the cathedral. There we go. I told you Team Tower would win. Never lose the faith. There we have more pepperonis. The Brexit coin, the second. Oh, 2017. It's uh, Peter Rabbit. So we're just missing Jeremy Fisher then, and we've got the whole 2017 set in a video. That happens quite often though, so that's not uh, anything too exciting. In fact, here's another chance to finish off the 2017 set. Ah, no. Another Tom Kitten. Very cute though. Well, all of a sudden, we find ourselves on the last bag of the hunt. We have had some pretty good luck. I can't grumble. We have had. Um, some pretty good success any hunt you find an Olympic let alone a 2018 Beatrix Potter as well uh, but for those of you that have watched this find the video you might be interested to know that I've got a discord server you can click the link down in the description to come and join that if you're over the age of 13 which is discord's rules not my rules alternatively you can catch me on Facebook Instagram and on Twitter and there's also the peer box you can write into if you so wish our first bag gives us a whole load of diddly squats but um, what I'm going to do now is have a look at the coins off to the side to see what key dates we found. Unfortunately, no uh, key dates, bizarrely. We did find the 2008 Britannia earlier in the hunt, though, but Star Find 
It is a close call. It is a very, very close call. It does look a bit like we're going rabbit hunting, though. Let me know down in the comments, though. What would you pick as your star find? I'm leaning towards Olympic shooting because I've got a soft spot for the Olympics, but um, a 2018 Peter Rabbit is still a very, very nice find, and I can't grumble at the luck we've had today. Well, as ever, all that leads me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.